<laughs> Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by the one and only Seamus Combe and we're here at the premiere of your documentary. You've just watched it. I don't know if you can give too much away, but how are you feeling after watching it and seeing so many people who you've played under speak so highly about you? I'm very proud and very privileged and very humbled by everyone, how, how they spoke about me. But again, there's been no big secret to that. I work hard, I am committed for the group and uh, thankfully, you know, they've we're happy to come on the documentary and happy to speak about me and it's um, yeah, something more so for the kids that they will remember you know yeah you, you, you know I remember meeting you very early on in your Everton career you haven't changed from that first person I remember my my father's plaque was was uh, down in uh, Goodison and it was just put there by Darren Griffiths and I remember you and your brother Francis both stopped to chat with us and you must have stayed there for about a half an hour and you know watching that documentary really brought it all home that you literally haven't changed since your whole career and it's, it's amazing to see the kind of story that you've unfolded from start to where you are now. Yeah, well listen for me, you know, I'm a footballer but it doesn't mean that you have to act in a certain way. For me, I've been brought up in manners and respect and that comes first and, um, you know, not changing for me was never, you know, was never going to be in doubt. I was always going to be the person I was from the age of 10, 12, 14, 16 and just because I played a few Premier League games wasn't going to change that and um, I'm quite proud of you know how people um, you know perceive me because all I do is uh, you know be nice and give people some time. Yeah well I think you, you've always maintained that and I, I from an Everton and an Ireland fan you've lived my dream watching you you know Captain Ireland, Captain Everton go on and play in the Euros and everything like that so uh, from all fans I just want to say thank you for that but uh, just kind of on your, your Everton career, you've been there for so long. I, kind of, I didn't want to go into kind of real serious matters or anything like that, but I wanted to kind of get your kind of dream five-a-side team from your Everton time. Because there's so many players, I'm going to just refresh your memory on a couple. Etu, Lukaku, James, they're just kind of some at the top level yeah, that I remember. Uh, do you know what? I've never been one for the five-a-sides, 11-a-sides, because I think it would be very unfair to some of the players I left out. Top of my head, some players I can name for you now. Lytton Baines, probably the best player I've played with. Um, you know, with the ability he had in that left foot was incredible. Um, Gareth Barry, James McCarthy that year in centre midfield um, when we yeah when you right back of the year they were they were incredible. James Rodriguez, like you said, Sammy Eto, massive name. Maybe we got him towards the end, but what a player, Louis Saha, Lukaku. It wouldn't be for me. It wouldn't wouldn't be fair to, to name five or, or name eleven because they've all been brilliant in their own ways. And Phil Jagielka, unbelievable captain. Phil Neville, Sylvan Diston, Tim Howard, and now currently, you know, Jordan Pickford, who's you know played a massive part in keeping us in the league for the last few years. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I just see um, Heimer uh, has joined, and he, he he kind of mentioned you last week about bringing you and stuff like that. How? I want to you looking forward to working with him. I know you've had a little chat and stuff like that. And look, we are crying out for a bit of positivity. It seems like he's going to bring that. And it looks like it from the outside looking in. Yeah, he seems a very impressive man and someone that wants to get the know the, to know the culture as quickly as possible and fully invest. And, you know, he didn't tell me this, but from what I was reading, he's, I think he's going to live in the country and stuff and yeah. uh, fully, like, immerse himself in the culture. And um, He was already at a couple of League of Ireland games last week with Shelburne and that, yeah. As well, yeah, yeah. As well, so... Um, yeah, listen, I w we wish him well. Um, I know all the Irish people get behind him like we always do. And ultimately, like I've told him myself, you know, the country, the, the, the national team are just crying out for success, crying out for, you know, a major tournament because we sat back and watched too many of them at the stage. Yeah, you've, you've obviously played in, you know, a major tournament where Ireland captained Ireland and stuff like that. You've mentioned how, how much that meant to you. To see Ireland get back to that level, how much would that mean to, I suppose, yourself and, and that group? Because I know you're one of the experience in that group, but it, it does look like they're not too far away from kind of turning some of those maybe draws or results into draws and wins. Yeah, well, that's the, that's that's the secret. Next is is, get, is changing that kind of th them results from like okay results to positive results and and building and and and, and making a culture of, of winning games again because. Um, I know we all get obsessed a little bit on the style of play and of course for the future of the game and kids coming through we need to have a clear you know identity of what we want but also I think the pubs and the and the fans and the people and the, the uh, crazy Ireland fans are crying out for a tournament as well and uh, like I said it's been too many times so you know that's the next step for the country we got there in 2016 it's far too long ago yeah uh, well look I don't want to keep you any longer I know you've got families to 
you don't really get to see that much. Good luck tomorrow. I'll see you down there. And uh, from an Evertonian and an Irishman, thank you for no, everything no, thank you've you done. And well done with everything you're doing as well. Thanks very Top much. Man. Top Cheers. man. Thank you. you